do you know what to do with undercooked cake? The problem may seem overwhelming. But we have some amazing fixes and solutions for you. In this jam-packed video, we will look at ways you can fix an underbaked cake as well as how to use baked parts. Our techniques are easy and all work very well, especially when you're in a pinch. What is undercooked cake? Undercooked cake can mean a couple of things. First, you can have an entire cake that has been undercooked. When this happens, it is more than just a specific area that isn't cooked, but the whole thing. Then, you can also have a cake that is slightly undercooked in certain parts. For example, often the center of the cake hasn't been cooked yet. Or, the bottom is still raw while the rest of the cake is firm. All three of these examples have similar causes. It either happens because your oven isn't hot enough, has hot spots, or your cake hasn't baked for long enough. Are there any dangers to eating undercooked cake? You should never eat undercooked cake. Why? Because flour and eggs carry a high risk of dangerous bacteria which can lead to serious food poisoning. Flour shouldn't be eaten raw or undercooked. And eggs, as we all know by now, can carry salmonella bacteria. To kill the bacteria, the eggs have to be heated at a high enough temperature for a long enough time. What to do with undercooked cake? Now, as we have mentioned, you first have to determine what to do with undercooked cake. Do you want to fix the entire cake, or do you want to utilize it for a different purpose? If your entire cake is half-baked, you should rather continue baking it until it's done. But, if certain parts are undercooked while others are starting to overcook, continuing the baking process won't help. It will not allow the raw parts to fully cook without burning the fully baked parts. Fixing undercooked cake. The entire cake is undercooked. To fix this cake, simply place it back inside your oven. If your baking temperature is below 320 degrees Fahrenheit 160 degrees Celsius, increase the temperature to at least that. Then, keep baking the cake for another 10 to 15 minutes without any covering. Check the cake's progress every 5 minutes to prevent overbaking the cake. The cake is wet in the center. A wet cake center could be caused by a too low oven temperature, the wrong cake pan being used, too big, or a short baking time. Again, the fix is quite easy. But, because some parts are partially cooked, you need to cover the cake pan with foil. This will trap the heat without overbrowning the baked parts. Allow the cake to bake another 10 to 15 minutes while checking the cake every 5 minutes. Once the toothpick comes out clean, the cake has finished baking. The bottom of the cake is undercooked. If you didn't bake the cake on the middle rack, then move it accordingly. But, if you did, the oven temperature is likely inaccurate. The best way to fix this problem is to first determine whether or not your oven has an accurate temperature. Use an oven thermometer to test the back and front of the oven. If you find a hot spot or cold spot, move the cake pan away from it and keep baking the cake. Tips and tricks. If your cake has already cooled before you realize it's undercooked, you shouldn't bake it again. Don't eat the raw parts. But, you can cut away the baked parts of your cake and create another dish from them. If they are large enough pieces, you can still make small individual cakes from them. It is a great way to still serve cake but in an even more unique way. Otherwise, you can use offcuts of baked cake to make cake pops, cake and butter pudding, cake crumble, trifle, or toasted cake slices. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.